Usman Sonko, a political opponent and candidate in the 2024 presidential elections, has been in prison since the end of July and his party, Pastef Le Patriot, has been dissolved at the same time. However, the candidate had lodged a number of appeals to overturn these criminal sanctions. Following the suspension of his party in Senegal, the opposition party, Senegal and Ted in acronym said, through its political bureau, has decided to officially invest Usman Sonko as a candidate for the 2024 presidential elections. This was announced on December 25th in a press release signed by its president, Mustafa Mamba Girasi. The decision by the said party, a member of several opposition coalitions formed with Sonko, comes at a time when Senegal's electoral process is in full swing. It comes less than two months before the presidential election scheduled for February 2024. Since last September, the first stages of the process, namely the collection of sponsorships forms and the payment of the deposit, have been completed without the participation of Usman Sonko. The opposition leader had also been struck off the electoral roll before a recent decision by the Dakar High Court overturned this removal, one of the main obstacles to his eligibility. The details of this decision to nominate Sonko are currently unknown and he has not yet officially responded. It is unclear how this transition between the PASTEF and said parties will take place, not to mention its political and administrative implications. According to major reports on Tuesday, December 26th, citing PASTEF's communications department, Usman Sonko has submitted his candidacy file to the Constitutional Council, whose response is eagerly awaited.